Okay, so today we have ourselves a new event happening on the Ponytown events server. This is an event that, you know, I don't know anything about. I haven't even looked at the map or anything, but I thought we could take a look at it and kind of rate it based on how the map is made. Did the people that are running the Equestrian Showcase event make a decent map? Uh, what is what is it like? Well, let's see how the event is going. So right now there's only 93, well actually 134 players online, or 137, it's increasing as we speak. So uh, it's definitely popping off a little bit. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. This right here is the default character for this event server, by the way. I'm not sure how it works, but sometimes during events, when you go to make a character or something like that, uh, it will just give you a default character or like a random default like this one here see um so starting off with the characters of course like this one it seems fine uh it's somewhat decent or whatever uh i kind of like it i guess um we'll call this one default showcase or something like that and then we'll we'll hop in this and we'll kind of take a look at the the server what's going on and everything else uh so this is spawn this is what I mean, like this is a default character and this is a default character, I'm assuming because they're associated with the showcase in some way. Um, but yeah, there you go. So um, I'm zooming out here, we have TS, I'm assuming that stands for the Equestrian Showcase. We have this big YouTube play button for some reason. I'm not sure what's going on with that. Uh, oh, this is a, kind of a interesting little weird thing we got going on over here. <laughs> what is this? Also, I'm gonna switch back to uh, uh, Skella. Oh, that's also interesting. Why is this in here? Uh, yeah, we got this nice little crystal thing here. I think this is pretty nice. Okay, so we have a couple of giant floating heads back here as well. Um, it looks like some kind of football field, maybe? I'm kind of curious of what that's like. They have a bunch of, like, little islands out here, so I'm curious of what those are like as well. This is definitely going to be a little bit more of an expansive, uh, thing. Ooh, look at that. A pearl. Oh, I can't even actually pick it up. That makes sense. Uh, let's switch to a character that can actually fly, I think. I guess I'd just be Sugar Cloud. All right. So now I can fly and I can run. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Okay, they got, they got like a little hot air balloon. That's actually really cool. I really like how they did this. This was really well done. They even gave this like a collider or something. So you can't like just get on top of it and like break the illusion or whatever. So that's pretty nice. Uh, we got our first set of islands over here. Very square, very cubic. Um, not a big fan of them either because they're very, uh, low effort. A couple of ponies floating on some rafts. Maybe they're meant to be like surfboards or something. That could be the case. I'm not really sure. Oh, they also have like uh, some of the fish that's in the in the thing. <laughs> four fish. Why is it called four fish? What what happened to one fish, two fish, three fish? What happened to them? Um, okay, and then we have this bunny eats ponies. <laughs> Will it actually hurt me if I if I? <laughs> okay, I can I can pick it up. That's kind of a nice a nice little detail. I kind of like that. I, I definitely definitely like that. Okay, uh, so then we have like this little area here. Not sure what it's for, but it's a nice little island, I guess. Another little island with not not much going on. Whatever this is. Oh, look at these plants. These plants are so nice. Why don't we have these? I want these. Um, what is this though? Oh, I could just I could just hold these signs for some reason. I wonder if this is not like meant to be like some kind of mini game that they have set up or something. I can't eat this either. It it seems like it would be for some kind of mini game that they have set up because like this is a bunch of just like random signs and stuff over here. Um, but anyway, let's pick up the sign because again, that's kind of a nice little detail that we can actually pick up the signs. And here's another fish. Hey, there's one fish. Okay, so the other fish are all all about like here's another one. What is this one? That one's two fish. Uh, I can't find three fish. Is that him there? No, that's Nemo. Okay. Well, they got a nice little boat thing right here. I think this is kind of nice. Welcome to the ship. Oh, of course they had a maze. It's a super simple maze, but of course they want to have a maze. Um, how, how amazing is that? Incredible. Uh, can I even... Oh, I was going to say, can I just fly like through some of this? But no, they have like furniture. No, I can't. I could just fly right through that. Okay. Yeah, I mean, this this little room right here, the ship and everything else is kind of decorated pretty nice, I think. V a super simple maze, which I guess I can appreciate, um, but at the same time, a little lame. Uh, I really, again, I like how they did this, because they, they made them, like, um, like in the air, so it's actually, like... Because, like, in the event server, whenever you're making the map, you can actually make things in the air so that you go behind them, uh, and you can go through them and stuff like that. And I think that's what they did here. Um, so that's kind of nice. I kind of like I kind of like how they did that. Uh, they got a couple of buildings here. This is a nice building too. 
Uh, I like the use of chairs to make the windows. This is definitely something that you guys at home can even do, like on your own, uh, if not even your uh, like an event server or whatever like that. If you're on your party island, you can technically just do this. You can technically just build this. Of course, you won't be able to set up colliders to stop players from getting on top of it, um, but you can just build this, and I think that's kind of a nice little thing. I love seeing stuff like that. They have a, a nice little rose bush here. Uh, I'm assuming this is meant to be like traffic lights because it kind of looks like one. Uh, so that's kind of a nice detail with the road here and everything. Um, this abandoned house. Building slated for demolition. Stay out. Can I go in it? <laughs> no, I want to go in it. That sucks. That, that's, that's a little bit of a missed opportunity, I think. I think they could have, like, put the cave spawn here or something. And so you go in there and you go in the cave, but they just decorate the cave to be, like, the interior of a house or something. That could have been a, a really cool uh, little thing. So you could go in the house that's slated for demolition or something. That would be really cool. Super uh, small island there. Okay, I've looked at all the islands over here. Uh, some more buildings. Uh, the buildings look really nice. Again, we have this trash can uh, that we've seen before. This is a little bit of an error, obviously. That should just be moved over slightly, or something should be done to that so that it doesn't have any issues. I really like how they did this too, though, because they, they got like the docks, like the little things from the docks, and put them here so that it makes a nice bridge. Why don't we have that in the game? Also, I just realized something else. What the hell is this? What is this stone wall? Is this like a super old stone wall sprite that I never knew about or something? Very interesting. I I, I, I kind of want to see that in the in the main game now too. Uh, but yeah, there's a couple of things. Uh, let's see what else we have. Uh, ooh, okay, kitchen off limits. Hey, they actually got the kitchen off limits for once. Um, I mean, nothing super fancy going on in here, I guess. I mean, it's not that different. And I wouldn't expect them to do a whole lot with it. This is... um. This is a nice little soccer field or football field, however you want to say it. Uh, I think that's pretty nice. I think that's a nice little detail. This is really well made too. Uh, and again, I, I guess we can't because like, what even is this? What even is this sprite here? I'm not actually sure. It looks like netting of some kind, but we don't have any kind of netting in the game. So I'm not sure what they used for that, but whatever they used, they used something uh, that we don't have access to in the main game. So uh, I'm going to keep that in mind. Because uh, I would love to see those added to the main game. Again, this this little thing here, like these windows, they're doing a really good job with these windows. I think I think these might be impossible um, on the on the main game, but they might not be. They might be possible. This is pretty nice. I actually really like this too. That's a really nice door. Uh, these are some really nice houses they have here. The last event server, it didn't have exactly the best looking houses um, or buildings or whatever, but these are some really nice buildings. Like these two especially. Whoever did these, this is like the best thing we've seen on the island so far besides the soccer field, football field. Um, yeah, but yeah, well done. Here's some more like plants and stuff that we don't have. Like what is this? Is this just a combination of different materials that they're that they've combined to create a plant, or is that just a new plant that we've not seen yet before? Um, they even have a little swimming pool here. Interesting. Um, but yeah. Oh, look at this. What is this? Checkers? They got checkers over here. I want some fire now. Uh, it looks like yeah, they got like some checkers or something going on here. I'm not sure like uh, if they're planning on doing something with that later or what's going on with it. But they have checkers here. I mean, obviously, I can't just come up here and play checkers with someone. But it is interesting that they put it there at all. So maybe there will be something with that in the future. This is also super interesting to me. Oh, cool. It actually sent me down somewhere too. Yo, that is dope. This is definitely one of the best um, uh, islands I've seen in a while in terms of like the event servers and stuff. This is really interesting. They got some glass here too because um, they, they stole it from the bakery, I'm assuming. Very interesting. I like how you can actually go downstairs into this little area. This is uh, this is a little bit creepy. <laughs> this is a little this is a little bit weird. Um, they each have names too. I'm not sure if this is meant to be like Patreon members or something, uh, or something. I don't know. Maybe channel members. Um, wow, that's very interesting. This is like it meant to be an elevator too. Elevator to basement. Yo, it's got multiple floors. What the hell? That is dope as fuck. That is so cool. That is so cool. They they did they freaking killed it with this. And look at this. They actually have a little shower over here, which I find interesting as well. Um, definitely could have made like a better shower head, I think. But the fact that they even did it at all is interesting. Uh, what, one thing I am noticing about this though too is like all the, like this basement and like this secret area down here is that there's basically no one here, and that's probably because it's kind of hidden a little bit. There's there's a few people up here, but they're just kind of in passing, I think. Or at least it seems like they're just passing by, kind of like how I am. 
but I think what this area is is actually the library now that I'm looking at it because it actually kind of looks like the library between you records form formerly the Fiora Bay library yeah it, was, <laughs> it used to be the library you can definitely tell that it used to be the library oh that is so interesting because like I, I went in from there like from the roof I so that brought me down there oh that is so cool so like if I wanted to I could just go inside and then I can come over here and then get to the roof. This is this staircase is super interesting too because um, I'm curious of like I guess all the parts are there like in the game files to, to like make these but they're just not an actual sprite. So there's definitely multiple objects stacked on each other and put in such a way that it makes it look like stairs. So well done there. Very excellent. Um, I, I'm really loving this so far. This is actually a really good map. Um, they have some, they have a few things, obviously, that's like a little bit like, oh, what, what the fuck, or like, that's kind of making them lose points in my mind a little bit, but other than that, like, they're doing, they're doing an excellent job. Here we go, here's some of the characters and stuff, I'm assuming, DJ Dashy, yeah, so there's some characters and stuff, you can stand on their head if you want to, and again, they have, oh, well, you can't go on the black ones, because those are, those are void spots. Very interesting, again, I really like this, this is, this is just really well made, I think. Um, they did an excellent job. They freaking killed it. Um, I don't know what else to say, really say about it. I mean, they, they killed it. Like, they actually like, got some pixel art up here. Um, some, like, uh, I guess the forest could be a little bit bigger or maybe a little bit more decorated. It looks like they just put a few random plants here and there with this. But I like the use of putting the crystals in all the trees and stuff. That's kind of a nice little thing as well. Um, and then again, the, the hot air balloon and uh, the last pixel face, I'm assuming. Yeah, because it's the fourth one over there. Um, but yeah, I mean, just overall, very, very well done, I think. Um, they killed it, I think. I think we can say, uh, again, say, wait, wait a minute. See, see, there's coral here, too. Uh, we already knew these things were in the, in the game files, but again, why are they in the game files? Why is that even part of the game? Why, why is coral in the game? Uh, is a question I've asked myself for a super long time now, because, well, I mean, it's been in the game for a super long time now, and we knew that from, oh, what the fuck? How do they make that happen, I wonder? Oh, look at these. These are super cool too. I really love these. This is actually something we could probably do on our on our island already anyway, um, minus the little flower things on the side. Uh, but wow, that is actually really cool and clever uh, and interesting. I really like how that looks. They even have like little toadstools here. So good, so good. They did an excellent job with this map. Honestly, they really did. Uh, I'm gonna give this one though, uh, all in all, I think I'm gonna rate this one. Maybe something like uh, a seven and a half, or maybe an eight out of ten. Um, and the main reason why it's not like a ten out of ten is because there's still many things here that kind of needs a little bit of improving, or some things that just seem like super out of place or, or weird or whatever. Like some of these buildings don't look as good as others. These might not seem out of place, but they don't really go good here. It's just kind of just put there, uh, maybe to fill out this beach or something. Uh, there's a few things like that. Again, these little islands over here, not sure what this little spot is. It's kind of nice, I guess, but it seems out of place. So do some of these other islands and stuff. Um, like this one doesn't have anything on it at all, which kind of seems a little odd as well. And then this, which seems interesting, but again, it just, it still seems a little odd. A few things like that, but other than a few things like that, it's very well done. And again, I'm, I'm not sure if these are meant to be surfers or what this is meant to be, but I kind of like this. I kind of like these dudes, um, just vibing up here on, on these, uh, surfboards or whatever. Uh, but yeah, excellent, excellent, excellent job. I'm going to give this, uh, an eight out of 10. Uh, so good job. Uh, and, uh, yeah, come check out this event. I don't know how long it's going to be going on, um, but if you see this video, uh, and it's still going on, then, well, hop on, man. All right, at least hop on to check it out, because it's a pretty cool map all in all. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, if you did, please do consider liking, subscribing, sharing. I'm going to, I'm going to do more of these in the future. Maybe I'll do them a little bit, uh, different in the future, but I'm definitely going to be doing this in the future where I just go to different events that are happening in the game and kind of rating the map, really. I mean, like, th there's not really much else to do on the event servers, usually, other than, like, watch the, watch the concerts or whatever they have going on in their little live stream here. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, this was, uh, a, a, a map. This was... Uh, the Equestrian Showcase, featuring some of the best pony music of 2022. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Again, please like, subscribe, share, and do all of those wonderful things. Because when you do wonderful things like that, not only do you get access to wonderful content such as this, but you also get to become one of yourself. And I think we all want that. So do those wonderful things, and until next time, stay wonderful.